Hello, in this lesson we are going to cover what EVMs are. So this is a V, not a U. So EVM stands for the Ethereum Virtual Machine. So these are Ethereum Virtual Machines and there's two main sort of features they provide. They provide security and they provide the execution execution of untrusted code by computers of on uh, of computers I mean by computers all around the world all over the world so execution of untrusted code and so done securely so to be more specific the project focuses on let's simply preventing denial of service attacks which have become somewhat say, common in the cryptocurrency world so it helps prevent helps so the part of the security aspect helps prevent denial of service so DOS attacks and these are you know just unique to cryptocurrencies but in recent times they have been very very let's just say common within cryptocurrencies moreover the evm ensures programs do not have access to each other's states ensuring communication can be established without any sort of potential interference so if let's say we have imagine this is a fearing virtual machine this is another one and imagine if this right here is the ethereum no blockchain the network these ethereum virtual machines aren't actually connecting to the main network and as a result and as a result they don't actually have access to each other so you can independently basically develop without you know interfering other people's projects another way to think of an ethereum virtual machine is as a is as a run time environment and it's a runtime environment for smart contracts based on the ethereum blockchain network it's also you can another way to see it is a sandboxed environment so a sandboxed environment is one that is locked off from the outside world it's like a great tool on windows they can get called sandboxy that allows you to run applications that are locked off from the rest of the computer so this is the way sandboxy works and this is a great analogy so imagine if this is your computer and inside here we got all these programs so imagine these circles are programs they can communicate with let me just use a different color for communication they can communicate with each other and all of this good stuff like so they can communicate but imagine if we're testing an application maybe if we download something off the internet maybe if it's a, from let's say not so trusted source maybe a torrent for example we want to run it on our computer but isolate it so what you can do is create a sandbox environment which sandboxy allows and so imagine this white box is a sandbox environment and any application that we run here cannot access the outside environment they just get blocked so that is great so it's a great way of testing it what you might be testing might not be malicious it might be something you've created but it's actually not ready for you know interaction with the rest of the applications and that's what you're testing to see if it is capable of running alongside the rest of your system so so these sandbox environments are great for testing that's what developers mainly use them for so these the Ethereum virtual machine is a great sandbox runtime environment for testing and it's isolated from the main network it's great for developers to test applications without affecting the main blockchain operations 
and it uses the Solidity programming language for programming smart contracts. So feel free to check out our video on Solidity and exactly what that is. But overall, it's just a programming language for creating smart contracts. So that's it for Ethereum virtual machines. Really, the only main thing that you need to know is that they're a runtime environment that's sandboxed, that is isolated from the main network and is great for testing smart contracts and development. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And as usual, thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next crypto video.